Hey you guys, PJD here. This is a long overdue um, video because I bought this product um, more than once actually, but a while ago. And I've just been meaning to do this video, never got to it. But anyway, there is a line called Ori Organics. I purchased this from their website directly. Um, that's the only way I know of acquiring these products through the website. And there, someone actually in the comment section a while back first introduced me to this line by saying, have you tried Ori Organics? Because it's a a more cost-effective line but the results are still good so I looked at it and definitely the prices of all their products are what I would consider to be reasonable this is an eight ounce jar of their curl restorative mask sorry if I'm yelling <laughs> um, an eight ounce jar of their mask and it only cost twelve dollars and seventy five cents so that's pretty good because you can get eight ounces from let's say Darcy's Botanicals and the price is uh, twenty dollars if I recall I stocked up so I haven't purchased it in a while but I think twenty bucks not 25 20 but anyway or your organics for eight ounces is only twelve dollars and 75 cents so right there we already have a difference in price point and um i love the price of course cheaper the better right and the ingredients list is really nice but before i get to that let me just um tell you that the purpose of this thing is for dry hair if you have really dry hair it's supposed to and they say on their website that it's supposed to really make your hair feel like um silk even if you have the driest type of hair now I consider and I know I've said this numerous times on the site I have really I'm just gonna open it so you can see I have really really dry hair <clears throat> okay really dry hair <laughs> so um, any product that says it's made for dry hair and it's going to do something to make it feel um, better is great as you can see the print is kind of coming off of this packaging and I was told that when that happens that's a good thing because it means they're using uh, safer forms of ink uh, instead of you know the more toxic version so anyway I can tell you and if you go to the website and you look for the curl restorative mask you will see the complete list of ingredients so this product and maybe you can see some of this text here maybe not it has burdock root horsetail I'm just gonna go slowly so you can kind of maybe pause this and see everything um, so it has nettle in here uh, rose hip African shea butter um, Olive oil is in here, hydrolyzed silk amino acids, cetyl alcohol, um, of course water, right? So really, really nice ingredients from top to bottom. Okay, so you can check those out. And again, on the website, it's the complete deal. So you can see all the ingredients. But I'll tell you that this product is supposed to be put on your hair. You can leave it on overnight. You can also add heat to it to um, get even better results. But basically, you leave it on your hair for a period of time to really deeply uh, penetrate your, your strands. That's what it's supposed to do and leave you with really soft, nice, great hair. Now, my, and of course, there are no um, phthalates in here. Um, <clears throat> all right, so none of those like harmful ingredients are in this product. So... Uh, first of all, let me just tell you about the scent of it. They describe it as being a scent like peaches and cream, but I think it smells more like, have you ever had that Quaker Oats peach oatmeal? So it tastes, uh, it smells kind of a little bit peachy, but kind of oaty. That's how, how this smells to me, but it's not a bad scent at all. It doesn't really matter because the scent, after you wash it out to me, the scent doesn't stay. So I guess it's like, mm, moot point, doesn't really matter. Let me just show you the consistency of this. It's like even though it has the shea butter in here, so see, it's not like runny, it's not flicking off my finger, but at the same time, if you could feel it, it's more like a, a custard. It's um, whipped, almost pudding-like, right? Uh, more than pudding-like, because it has more of a whipped feel to it. But a really, really nice, creamy, I'm putting this in my hair because I'm actually about to pre-poo. <laughs> but anyway, um, so really, really nice whipped <clears throat> product, right? So it's really nice sorry I hope that's in frame yeah so really nice even though it looks like there are these little bits in them really just push your fingers together and it's gone so it's, that's not like something that will stand out in your hair and it, it won't uh, go away yeah it definitely will so don't worry about that <clears throat> so as you can see again not a runny product <clears throat> now let's talk results sorry for the clearing of the throat <sighs> okay yes it left my hair feeling soft um, which is what we want I wouldn't say it felt like silk. It was soft. Um, very poofy. Right? So it left my hair nice and fluffy and, and soft. <laughs> the days that it lasted, maybe two. Maybe. Um, 
I, I felt like the benefits of this, it just wasn't, and no shine to speak of, just my regular shine that I would normally have after using like anything. Um, so the, the shine was nothing to note. The, the softness was nice, but again, it, it was short lived. It, it just, I, I thought, thought it would be a nice product if let's say this is something that you plan on using multiple times during the week. So, <clears throat> sorry again. <clears throat> so by the time it runs out that you, uh, or the, the benefits of it, leave your hair, you're able to, you know, it's time for wash day again. Maybe if you're using that in that sense, yeah, then fine. Then keep it going. And it's only twelve seventy five, So maybe worth it to you. For me, um, I thought, again, it felt nice and the benefits of it were nice. Like my hair was soft, but it just didn't last long enough for me to say, oh, this, this is the brand I need to switch to. I didn't leave with that uh -huh type of feeling. Um, and again, it was nice. And this is not, as I said, the first jar that I've purchased of this. I've purchased other, I've purchased, this is like my second jar, maybe even my third jar of this because I really wanted to test it out, use it under different uh, circumstances with heat, without heat. Um, uh, I didn't do the overnight though, actually. I never did the overnight, but you know, I just tried it in different ways. If I use it for the pre-poo, if I use it just as the conditioner, if I use it here, or there, everywhere, what will the difference be? And really, I ended up with the same results. Um, the results didn't last much longer than it did just using it the standard way as a deep conditioner and like leaving it on your hair for some time. So that was kind of my feeling on it. Nice. And I have a couple of other things that I bought from this line that I need to review and show you. They have one that's a sealant. When I talk thick, I mean, that is probably the thickest product that I've ever purchased. So you'll see that. And there are tons of reviews on Oreo Organics online. But I just want to kind of give you my quick take on it. Nice line. Nice brand. My hair was soft. It was fluffy. It just... It just wasn't that long lasting. Um, so that's, I guess, my only gripe with it. Oh, and the fact that I didn't have shine. That's probably another gripe because I'm a, sign, a shine sucker. I love when my hair looks shiny and my tresses look really just bright and brilliant. It makes me feel like it looks even healthier when it's like that. But anyway, so this is Oreo Organics. Um, if you've used this product, let me know what you think. Now I'm going to go on to some other things. Also, I want to tell you that in, in recent times, I will start to use um, my blog, the test text-based blog to showcase sli slightly different things like so I may not have every single product review on YouTube it, but I'll, I'll likely let you know when that happens because that's how it kind of was back in the day and then I just moved to the format of having everything on YouTube but maybe some things just don't lend itself well to being a YouTube video maybe it's just best shown in pictures and with me um, typing but anyhow that's neither here nor there um, but this is Ori Organics go to oriorganics.com and you can see their whole list of products and again all reasonably priced so I do love that all right so now I'm going to move on to a couple of other things hey okay, so I don't want this to be a part one and part two video so I'm just going to um, fill in the rest of the stuff that I know I can do within the 15 minute mark so there was a time when I had shown you or told you through YouTube and also on my blog that Kissable Couture was having this kind of um, not only a sale on their lippies, but they were giving this one glamour away for free. I'm just going to swatch it so you guys can see it. I yeah, okay, that's what it looks like in the tube. I'm just going to swatch it because maybe now it's back on sale for regular price, which is 22 bucks. As soon as I used it, this is the one I got for free. As soon as I used it, I kind of thought I knew why it was on. Uh, being given away. Um, not that it's not smooth and silky and all that it is, but it's really, 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 really sheer see that yeah right <laughs> it's almost like you don't see anything so because it's that sheer to me this is almost clear pretty much so that's the free one that's okay you know whatever um this one is david which i had in the past yeah there we go david and remember this color at the bottom is really the color of the two what's up top is the color of the um lip gloss so there we go david Right, so you can see how David is more pigmented than Glamour, right? And so that's probably that why that one's the sale one. But I'm appreciative. I'm not complaining because it just gives me a nice, clear look on my lips. This one I also got at a reduced price is Hyacinth. And I normally don't get colors like that, so I decided to try it, and that's it. It's kind of like a lavenderish purple light, right? But this is a, a really nice gloss line. I do like it very much. Let me try and lower that so you can see them while I'm doing this 
This one I was really surprised with. Um, I just decided to get it because I said, mm, a red gloss. Okay, that could be cool. Red gloss, but it's pigmented. This is more like a red lipstick. It's just in tube form, like a like a lip gloss. But okay, it's called Fantasies. I'm just going to swatch this for you because wait till you see this. Sorry, I moved too much. Why is it not coming? But anyway, it's called Fantasies. Trust me on it. Um, odd. Okay, anyway. Look at this. Check this out. Fantasies. Mm -hmm. Lipstick, right? Look at that. That is really, really, really red. Um, and really, and the, and the, these feel like really light. Not that this doesn't feel light, but this one has a slightly heavier feel to it. It's more tacky. It is like a lipstick. Like a lipstick um, that you just put on with a wand. That is really red. And that was just one swipe of the brush. Um, and the last one I got at the discounted price was... Um, this one is Bliss. The text has already come off of the bottom. But I, I really like this one. It's Bliss. Here's the color. Sorry if the lighting is... Yeah, there we go. And this is what Bliss looks like. Um, just swatch it across here. There's Bliss. Right. So like a, it has this kind of mauve but light kind of color to it. So those are the five that I got. This one, of course, being the free one, Glamour. So that was that. Um, the other things that I think I can finish within the span of this video. Oh, um, what's new this week? Another item from NARS. I had picked up, as you know, I'm starting to buy eyeshadows and whatnot. So um, this particular one is normally sold for either $22 or $23 from NARS. But I got this from Sephora because they were having a... a sale and just check the sales list on the sephora.com website um every week they have sales so you know just check it out and they were selling this for eight dollars this is called um california and i like this shade it's like a brownish whatever so i had been wearing this one there we go look at that like a copperish brownish it's just pretty so i like that and of course it has a little mirror up top and all that but i like this shadow so I got that for eight bucks, NARS. And also the other one that I got from NARS is called Night Sun. Night Sun. And this one, I'll take out the little NARS thing, is um like a yellow. There we go. Like a golden yellow. It's pretty. So I like these two. There we go. I'm trying to oh this was like a pain in the neck which is why I just want to talk to you about this quickly as much as lush soaps cost why are their samples so small pray tell why this tiny little sliver and it's like the lady was looking to give me like the biggest one but this look how small that is okay anyway this is like their peppermint soap or something haven't used it yet 